Hello, my name is Julia Aurora Carrillo Sabido, and today I'm going to talk about the tense of regular verbs in English ends with ed. Let's see the reason about why are pronounced in three different ways. T, the, it. Say the past tense verb walked, as in, I walked away. What is the last sound that you hear in the verb, walked? The IT verb ending sounds like a T, walked, even though it ends in the letter D. What do you hear when I say smelled, as in, it smelled bad? The IG verb ending sounds like a D, smelled. And when I say visited, as in I visited London. How did I pronounce that IG ending? Visited. The IG verb ending sounds like it, visited. This lesson teaches you the three rules that explain the differences in the past tense verb ID pronunciation. But don't be surprised if most na native speakers can explain these rules to you. The truth is, English speakers make these changes in sound without even noticing. Why the sounds change? Place your fingertips in the front of your neck and pronounce the following words. What do you feel in your fingers when you say the underlined sounds? V, fake, zebra, snake. When we pronounce voice sounds, our vocal cords vibrate when we say those sounds. V, z. Did you feel the vibration? When we pronounce voiceless, voiceless uh, sounds, our vocal cords do not be vibrate. No vibration. Here we have a rule. This vibration or lack of vibration then carries forward to the following sound in the word. Therefore, this vibration of lack of vibration explains why we pronounce the past tense of verbs in three voice or voiceless way, t, d, or it. T, final sound. Verbs ending in voiceless sounds, p, k, v, f, s, s, ch, cause the ID ending to be pronounced as the voiceless T with not vocal cord vibration. Listen and repeat. He popped a balloon. Popped. They talked a lot. Talked. She froze a cup of milk. Froze. I laughed at the movie. Laughed. She kissed a frog. Kissed. Rushed up. Rushed. Final sound. Verbs ending in the voice sounds b, g, g, v, z, j, j, m, n, in. R, U, cause the ID ending to be pronounced as a voice D. Listen and repeat. It bobbed, it bobbed up and down. Bobbed. He begged her to stay. Begged. Loudly. Breathe. They love it. Laughed.
expectations rise. They bridged the gap. Bridged. Bridged. Claimed. Claimed. They banned new members. Banned. Into the chair. Banned. He cleared it up. Cleared. The paper. Roll. At or it final sound. Verbs ending in the sounds t or d will cause the id ending of a verb to be pronounced as the syllable at or it. Listen and repeat. I visited the Empire State Building. Visit. She it edited the research paper. Edited. We ended the game early. Ended. He breaded the chicken. Breaded. Discourse important. Connected speech, consonant plus vowel. These ID pronunciation rules are particularly important because English we connect our speech when we have a word that ends in a consonant and is followed by a word that begins with a vowel. In this case, the way you say the verb's ID ending will be heard loudly and clearly. For example, he walked away. He walked away. Did you hear that t in walked clearly? Isolation. The same rule of connect speech consonant plus vowel occurs when H deletion causes us to delete the H sound at the beginning of a word. For example, we rise, we rise her expectations. Rised. We rise her expectations. We rise her expectations. We delete the H in her when uh, then connect the speech from rise and her, which became rised.